Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade module eight, lesson one. And in this lesson, students are gonna be describing two-dimensional shapes based on their attributes. So the idea is we aren't going to be studying rectangles or triangles. Instead, we're gonna be talking about shapes and identifying them by their characteristics, their, asp uh, their attributes, like they have three sides or they have three corners or they have three angles. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with some stuff about the teachers, uh, for the teachers. So uh, teachers, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to begin by showing, I don't know, maybe three different triangles, right? And, and you can make them look like any way. Is that gonna work? Yeah, that it. In fact, we could do four, okay? We could do there. So we've got all these triangles and the idea would be uh, parents and teachers, but mostly I'm talking about the teachers, is uh, help our students understand. And now, try and restrain from calling these triangles because really the focus isn't the name right now. The, the focus for this lesson is the attributes of these triangles. We want students to recognize that all the triangles have three sides. One, two, three, and then, you know, one, two, three, etc. Okay? We want them to recognize that all this, these shapes have three sides. And it would be okay for the students to also recognize that they have three corners. But parents and teachers, the thing that we want to focus on in this lesson, in addition just to the general concept of the attributes, is we really want to focus on the fact that these triangles have three angles. It's okay for our students to refer to them as corners, but we also want to introduce and have our students practice the new vocabulary word of angles. So we want to say that these shapes all have three sides and three angles, and that they're all called triangles. And then you can move to shapes that kind of look like this. And then you can say, well, what do all, all of these shapes have in common? Let's get going here. What do all these shapes have in common? Oh, well, we want our students to recognize that they all have four sides and that they all have four corners. So we want to say corners. We don't necessarily, I mean, I, I said corners, gee whiz, I said the exact opposite of what we're supposed to be. We want to say they all have four angles. They all have four angles. We don't necessarily want to focus on the fact that they're corners. Now, why is that? Because a corner is a one-shot deal. It's just corner, you're done. But we um, want our second graders to be eventually growing into the concept of understanding that angles might be acute, they might be obtuse, they might be right angles. So we really want to be focusing on the angle, not the corner, if that makes sense. So, uh, so what are these? Well, these are all four-sided figures that have four angles, not necessarily four corners. And then the idea would be, well, now you're going to start with five-sided shapes. One, two, three, four, five. And get crazy with what your shapes might look like. So your five-sided shapes might be, you know, kind of unusual. Let's see. Is, is that going to work? Yeah. Oops. No, that thought of it as a, a rectangle. I want to see if I can get creative here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Is it going to? No, it's trying to make this. It's trying to make circles and stuff. So the idea would be we want to get creative and have our students recognize. Uh, oh, gee whiz. How am I going to do that? Okay. Is that a five sided shape? Kind of. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Okay. Oh, my goodness. These are horrible, <laughs> horrible five sided shapes. But you're going to repeat the process with five-sided shapes, maybe even six-sided shapes. And each time, we're going to be saying, what do they have in common? Well, in this case, they all have five sides and they all have five angles. Now, this one's going to be funky because the angle is beyond 180 degrees. So it's called a a reflexive angle or reflexive? Boy, I forget what the name of that is. But anyway, it's a, it's a 
it's an angle that's larger than 180 degrees. All right, and so that's the idea is uh, parents and teachers, you're going to guide our students from a three-sided to a four-sided to a five-sided figure, each time focusing on sides and angles. And we're finally ready to talk about the homework because at this point, the students have experienced lots of talk about sides and angles. And then we can just go ahead and count. Uh, let's take a look at figure A. It's got three sides and it's got three angles. So we can fill in three and three. And then we can move way over here and say, what is C? Well, it's got one, two, three, four, five. So it's got five sides and in this case, five angles. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and five angles. All right, so that's the idea of this slide. We're continuing here just constantly practicing uh, those two main vocabulary words, which is angles and then sides. Those are the real important things. And parents and teachers, the thing you're noticing is we're not really focusing on the names of the polygons. We're not talking about triangles and rectangles and hexagons yet. Uh, because really at this point of this lesson, we're really just focusing on the, the names of the attributes, angles and sides. Now this one I wanted to point out because I think there's a printing error. And so parents and teachers, I want to help you so that you don't get frustrated. Um, so you'll notice our figure here, and it says Joseph's teacher said to make shapes with six sides and six angles on his geo board. Well, these little lines are supposed to represent rubber bands on a geo board, but the idea is that rubber bands don't, they're supposed to be wrapping around those dots. So I'm going to zoom in. And so let's take a look at this figure here. It kind of looks like a sideways sailboat. Um, this figure has been I don't know, it's goofed up in the printing. So really, this figure should be right here. Let's see, one, two, there, 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 and there. That's what that should look like. And then similarly, this figure needs to be kind of butted over to the right a little bit. So it should look like one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then lastly, this figure down here should also kind of be scooched over a little bit. So it should look like this to this to this to this to this, and then a long one like that. All right. So that's what these figures should look like. The printing, I think, on Eureka Math got goofy. A little bit. And that wraps up a fun one. It wraps up, let's see, it is second grade module eight, lesson one. We're describing two-dimensional shapes, but we're really focusing on attributes like sides and angles. And if you'd like to see more videos, please go to http colon slash slash embark online dot online. And that you'll get tons of videos.